Hi, my name is Rohit Kurana. I'm a professional for the last 30 years working in various uh, companies in the multinational space, Indian corporates, startups. Uh, have spent a lot of time at, at various levels and in various uh, profiles and various uh, positions. Uh, I respect the understanding of uh, the industry that I've caught over these years. Uh, today in this video, I will help you uh, decide whether you should take the uh, Six Sigma certification program or not. Uh, why people take those programs, what kind of uh, benefits they get from those programs, what kind of people take those programs, uh, the topics that are covered and uh, how they have had their experiences over these uh, programs in the, uh, for the people who've really taken them. Uh, I work in PayU and I have about eight years experience. Uh, I have been recently moved to operations division and I thought that uh, Six Sigma would be a good uh, addition to my whole uh, uh, curriculum. And presently I am working in TV Nord from last two years onwards as a technical engineer and project, my project is going. It's called Railway Equipment Division. It's related to railway parts manufacturing and I want to upgrade my resume and that's why I joined this Six Sigma course. Uh, I'm working with Jubilant Industries for the last three years. Overall experience is over approximately 10 years in total in manufacturing industries. And Jubilant Industries, I found they are into Six Sigma. They are uh, Jubilant Industries is a Six Sigma driven company. They are practicing Six Sigma for last uh, around 10 years. So as I've already understood the Six Sigma methodology, but I wanted to have a formal certification in Six Sigma. Uh, I'm working with Nokri.com group in Noida uh, from the past uh, five years and I have a total experience of around uh, seven years in service industry. Uh, basically I'm learning uh, Six Sigma Greenbelt certification from Henry Harvin Education uh, because I thought it will be helpful for my industry in uh, process improvements and all. Some of the profiles that people have really benefited from these programs are people in the quality, uh, people who are in the analytics department, project managers, process managers, delivery managers, digital marketers, uh, finance and accounts, management professionals, and for that matter, even the business owners sometimes. Uh, at the same time, uh, in terms of industry domains, I would say that uh, almost every industry is covered uh, by people who've taken these programs, be it banking and finance, be it defense, research, healthcare, IT, ITES, logistics, aviation, pharma, automobile, heavy industry, packaging, hospitality. Each one of them has really been benefited uh, from these kind of programs. Be surprised to know that uh, Six Sigma training programs really help people working in any domain or industry because it helps develop skills in the area of data analytics, process management, uh, project management, uh, team management, leadership skills, uh, performance management, waste reduction, delivery management, quality enhancement and various other business related skills. As uh, Six Sigma is a data driven approach, so participants can make statistically proven inferences about a particular problem which help them to increase the buy-in and leadership approval. Nowadays what companies are doing, they are looking for candidates who have good and sound understanding on Lean and Six Sigma and for also internal promotions, Six Sigma and Lean skills are required. So if you are not a Six Sigma or Lean expert, your internal promotions can be I mean, uh, can be a hindrance uh, for your career path and if you are a Six Sigma expert then obviously you will, your career path will be on a good, good note. So this Six Sigma course is upon various tools and techniques used in DMAC approach and Lean approach. This uh, workshop not only covers the understanding theoretically, but here the participants also experience the practical usage of Lean and Six Sigma, wherein they can use these skills, these tools and techniques further in their companies. Course content was quite apt. Uh, it was well divided into uh, the four weeks of training and uh, uh, well uh, taken by the uh, a teacher it's quite good and as far as the course content content is concerned of the Henry Arvin it is very precise and specific regarding the DMAC technology DMAC the methodology 
uh, and the training and the subjects which are taught and you know uh, uh, explained in the pro this course have been very useful and the learnings here is very good so there is a very good atmosphere which is basically uh, one of uh, one kind of a two way relationship wherein the trainer will also be interacting and you he'll also giving a chance to uh, like interact you it's a one on one basis uh, query also uh, getting solved so these are the things which will basically giving a good environment to learn and to clear each and every doubts at at the same time Yes, I would uh, certainly recommend this uh, training. Yes. Of course, I will recommend this training because this course will you know, improve and enhance everybody's aptitude towards the manufacturing or operations. Since this is a very useful and effective tool for the organizations, any organization, I would definitely recommend this course to be pursued by anyone. Definitely I will be giving a 5 because the kind of atmosphere which I will be getting, it's not only just uh, like one way thing that the trainer comes and delivers the lecture and is gone. It is a pure interactive session and secondly, the batches are also very small wherein you will be able to interact on one on one basis. And of course I am going to recommend it, in fact I have shared one of the recommendation already. Mm -hmm.